Alright, so in this video, let's take a look at finding the domain of a rational function. Alright, so let's look at the first one. We have 2x minus 5 over x plus 3. Alright, so what do we know about fractions? Well, we know that we can't have 0 in the denominator. Okay, so that means that this denominator here, this x plus 3, cannot be 0. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the x plus 3 and we set it equal to 0 and solve. So we subtract 3, so I get x equal negative 3. So my domain can be anything except for negative 3. Okay? So let's write our domain in interval notation. Uh, so it's going to be everything but negative 3. So if we look at this on a number line, it's going to look something like this. And we'll have an open circle here at 3. Okay, It's going to be the entire number line except for this. So the way we would write that is the domain is everything from negative infinity up to negative 3. And the negative 3 is going to have a parenthesis on it because it's not included. Or everything from negative 3, and it's going to have a parenthesis because it's not included, to positive infinity. And so this is how you would write your uh, domain in interval notation. All right, so let's take a look at the second problem. All right, same thing as the first one. The denominator cannot be 0. So let's find out where it equals 0. So we just take x squared plus 5x minus 14, set it equal to 0. And so we have to factor. So I get x plus 7 x minus 2, so x plus 7 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. And so subtract 7 to both sides, I get x equal negative 7, or, and then I add 2 to both sides, I get x equal 2. So x cannot be negative 7 or positive 2. So let's write it in interval notation again, like we did the first one. So let's come here and draw a number line, okay, and let's put negative 7 and 2 on there. Now, you, you don't have to draw the number line. I'm just doing this because I think it might be easier for you to see how to write it in interval notation. All right, so my domain is the entire number line, and we're going to have an open circle at negative 7, and we'll have an open circle at 2. So there's my domain. Everything except for negative 7 or positive 2. So my domain is everything from negative infinity to negative 7. Now it's going to be in parentheses because it's not included. Or everything from negative 7 to 2. And they'll both have parentheses because neither one's included. Or everything from 2 to infinity. And this would be my domain. Alright, so let's take a look at this last one here. Alright, so I know I don't want the denominator to be 0. Okay. Alright, well, we could set this equal to 0. Okay. Now, Let's look at this. Will this ever be 0? No, because whatever number you plug in for x, when you square it, we would need what? Negative 4 after we square it, right? Well, there's nothing you can square to get negative 4, because anytime you square a number, it's positive. So this denominator here will never be 0, because there's no way that x squared that this term will be negative 4. Okay, So that means our domain is 
everything is from negative infinity to positive infinity. It's all real numbers. All right, so I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you like it, you can watch my other ones and you can subscribe. All right, thanks.